during load modeling in ETAP software, whenever we are talking about the type of loads, there are basically two types of loads. If we add here the lump load, it will ask whether it is motor, what is the percentage of motor load and what is the percentage of static load. So that means basically constant power load and constant impedance load. Let us see theoretically what is the concept of constant power and constant impedance load. This is constant power load where constant power loads include the motors, condenser and unbalanced lump load. So here the power output, this is the current voltage curve and this is power versus voltage curve, this is constant power and if you see for constant power we know the formula P equals to V into I. So this is the this is the formula for constant power load. If the voltage increases, the current will decrease. Show that the multiplication of voltage and current remains constant that means power remains constant when voltage is reduced then current is increased so v into i equals to power so this is constant power load concept basically this is when the uh, motors are connected in a power system network Usually, these are constant power load. In coming to the constant impedance load, constant impedance load here, the constant impedance loads basically these are the static loads. So, here you see the input power increases proportionally to the square of the input voltage. That means This is directly proportional to V square. Basically, the formula is P equals to V square by R or V square by Z is the impedance. So, if, if this is constant, impedance is constant, then this. Uh, this relationship is coming p equals to p, p is directly proportional to v square so here is the curve p is directly proportional to square of the voltage and current versus voltage curve it looks like this so when voltage is increased current is also increased so these are the static loads such as heater loads like this. So this is the concept for constant power load and constant impedance load. Now let us check and validate with ETAP software what it is showing. We have selected this lump load. This rating is 0.2 MVA, 85% power factor. This is the ampere rating is coming so here is the load type you can see here is the load type you can change you can change it you can notice here what is the percentage motor load and what is the stat percentage static load in the upper part this is constant kva means constant power so whenever i am dragging this one so here in this position 
constant power load is 0 you can see here also 0 percent motor and 100 percent static so this bottom part is for constant impedance load upper part is for constant power load so whenever we are increasing we are balancing suppose this is 80 percent 80 percent constant power loads and 20 percent balance 20 percent is constant impedance load that means static loads so here it is indicated 80 percent motor and 20 percent static so the total connected load which is considered as lump load it is 80 percent constant power load and 20 percent constant impedance load let's consider that this is constant power load 100 percent constant power load that means motor load and 0 percent static 0 percent static load let's simulate this case go to load flow run the load flow here you can see it is drawing this 0.2 MVA lump load is drawing 365.3 ampere 365.3 amps and the bus voltage is coming 76.17 percent though it is uh, overloaded this is too much under voltage because a lot of a large size motors are connected so leave that case only we are focusing on that bus voltage which is 76.17 percent and the current is coming it is drawing 365.3 ampere let's check the what was the rating here for 0.2 mba lump load here ampere rating is 278.2 amps 278.2 amps but here it is coming 365.3 amps so how it is coming let's check this one so it is coming here 365.3 360.365.3 point, three amps and the voltage is bus voltage is 76.17 so since this is constant power load the formula is this equals to current multiplied by voltage so it is coming 278.249 278.249 let's check 278.2 so it's okay so that's why this current is coming 278.2 amps now let's change this load type from constant power to constant impedance constant impedance load here also you can see this is the static load megawatt and megabar so I have changed it from constant power to constant impedance load. Let's run this once again. So now the current is drawing 219.6 amps and the voltage is increased slightly. Bus voltage is now 78.94 percent. So 219.6 amps. 219.6 Point six amps and the voltage is seventy eight nine four so this is constant impedance load this is constant power 
so the formula is this equals to current divided by voltage so 278.186 let's check 278.2 278.2 so this is the formula if it is constant power load the current calculated current this will be the multiplication of the current how much the, how much current the load is drawing multiplied by bus voltage in per unit and if it is constant impedance load then current divided by bus voltage so this is the difference for constant power and constant impedance load so i hope this part is clear how this current is coming in etap software how it is calculating and based on the actual load scenario in your project you can assign what is the constant power load percentage and what is the constant impedance load percentage based on that you can model this lump load okay hope that's clear